Hello everyone, it's Alar from AppFind here, and today I have a little bit of a different video for all of you. I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own website with no coding knowledge necessary using Wix. And the websites also look great on mobile as well. So we're going to get started and show you how this works. Once you first sign up, it's going to ask you what type of website you want to create. And this is really cool because you get to choose the type of website you want to put together and it's going to adapt um, their own technology to you. So you can have a business site, you could be a designer, if you want to do a blog or an online store, whatever you happen to want to do, you can set that up using Wix. You can even set up your own music site um, or you know portfolio site if you're an, a musician or an artist. But for the purposes of this video, I think we're going to be doing a blog. So we're just going to click there and get that started started and let's take a look and see how we can create a website using Wix. So once you've chosen what type of site you want, you have two options. You can use the traditional Wix editor or you can use the artificial design intelligence, which I'm really excited to take a look at because the Wix editor is drag and drop. It's very cool. But if you look at the Wix ADI, this is completely unique. It's going to create your own artificial design intelligence that's going to find out the type of website you want maybe before you even know and set that up so we're going to choose that one you type in the style of site um, so whatever you happen to have i'm just going to type in tech blog and uh, that's what we're going to kind of set up today as an example but of course you can also set up your own shops whatever you want um, and set that up but let's just do tech blog click next and as you can see, this is putting everything together here. It's going to ask you some more questions so I can choose if I want to sell things online. Um, I'm, I'm going to choose get subscribers. I always want more of those. And let's take a look here. All right, we can name the website. As you can see, it's walking you through all of these steps. I'm just going to call this app find blog, I think. Um, but that's just what I'm going to call it here. But you can, of course, create whatever type of website you want. It doesn't have to be a blog. You can even create a store, as you saw earlier. And then you can put in information. I'm just going to skip this step, though. And then you can also add additional details. So I just put in additional information. As you can see, my logo. Uh, I kept the blog name. I put in some social media links. And it's going to add all of this using their artificial design intelligence to create a brand new site that I want. So let's just click Next here and take a look. I believe it's gonna, about to be building the site. It might ask me for a couple more questions. Let's see. All right. So as you can see, this is the artificial design intelligence by Wix. It's going to create the brand new site in just a matter of you know a few minutes or less. And then you'll have a site based on everything we just put in. So it's going to ask me a little bit about my tastes. I think I'm going to choose, I like black ice. That looks really good. I think that's going to work for a tech blog. But as you can see, there's a lot of different designs. And let's just wait and see what they come up with. All right, the moment of truth has arrived. This is the new webs. Oh my goodness. I didn't even expect something like that. If you look at this, they even have a phone. They even have a phone on there. Right? It's like somehow they knew. It. It's got that artificial intelligence component. Usually you'd have to spend so much time you know, finding a theme, customizing it, adding all these different things. You know, If you were to do this yourself, there'd be so much coding involved. Um, but right here, it did that in just a matter of minutes. Right, And you could do the same thing with whatever type of site you want. You probably get a totally different site uh, because you probably want different things than I do. So as you can see, it's also going to walk you through step by step what you need to do. But let's take a look at this preview and see, uh, you know, kind of how this looks. Let's take a look here. That looks great. Yeah, look at it. I can't even get past the fact that it also has a phone. And it's got Discover the App Find blog. You know, it's got those sample articles, you know, ex expensive, you know, cracked screen. Uh, different tech things. It pre-adds articles that are similar to the type of content I'd probably create, and I think that's really cool because it shows you the design of the website, you know, beforehand. So if you take a look here, I think I think it looks pretty solid. 
So let's actually just take a quick look at some of the pages. If you take a look here, it creates those new pages based on posts. You can add those additional posts. It's got our social media all in there. It even has the recent post, you know, plugin added to that so you can actually see, you know, what the most recent posts are. Now let's take a look and see if we can uh, see the mobile version. I mentioned earlier uh, that mobile is also optimized so we can see what it would look like on your iPhone. And I, I've got a feeling it's gonna look good. Let's just wait a second for it to load. Look at that. Wow, that looks really good. If you take a, the only thing I could change is, you know, the logo, make it a little bit more transparent. But other than that, this looks great. The articles look great. Looks like the type of thing, you know, that I would want to read on mobile. Oh, look at, look at that menu. Look at the way it pops up over the full screen like that. Looks very good, very, very professional. And, and for just a few minutes, like for a few minutes, you get something like this. It knows what you want based on what you put in. It gets all that information, compiles it, puts it together, and this is what it comes up with, a site just like this, which, which I think is amazing. So as you can see, you can also change the website design. Um, you know, you can go through and take a look at the colors. Uh, let's just take a look here and see if there's anything else we can do. So I just put in to change the design just to see what it would look like with another one of these, and this looks really cool. I like the way that the yellow kind of contrasts with the blue. I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay with this, um, but I think I actually will. I think I will, I actually like this. So I'm probably gonna choose to keep it right here. Uh, but if you take a look here, this is you know just a new version of the site, different theme, and it's one of the other ones they thought would look good on the website. So now we can change some of the colors. I'm gonna skip that though. Uh, you can also change the fonts if you wanted to. Uh, and this is just really to show you that, yes, it creates all of these things for you, but you can also, of course, customize it as well. So if you wanna add customizations, you can definitely do that. Just because it creates it doesn't mean you have to stick with it, but at the same time, it already looks very, very good. So I'm gonna probably stick with that same font that I had, but it's just really cool knowing that you can have that. So let's see what next, what, what we can kind of change next here. So it looks like we can also add an animation to the website. Definitely gonna check that out. Definitely gonna see what that does. Let's see here. And as you can see, there's all it's really walking you through step by step. So they don't make you have to you know, know anything ahead of time, no coding, no nothing. You just choose the different options. So I'm gonna try, let's see here, probably fold. Yeah, probably fold. And let's just see kind of what that looks like uh, I don't know if it's gonna load it here if we're gonna have to try a preview. All right, so there is that animation. It comes in from the side, it kind of folds in a little bit. That looks good. I think I'm gonna stick with that one. You can add additional animations. That way it looks even better when people come and uh, take a look at your website. As you can see, it kind of popped in from the side, discover app, find blog. It's got that image, it's got all the different things, uh, but now it has an animation as well. So let's see where we are in the, in the process. Change section layout. I kind of like the way the layout looks already, but you could probably use this to move around the different aspects of your website. We're gonna skip this one for now. Edit section content. All right, we're gonna to wanna to do this, at least see how it works. So it looks like I can click here, I can edit, and then I can change whatever I want. So if I wanna change this to, you know, instead of discover app find blog, just to app find blog. Looks good. And then I can change the description. See, see how easy this is? You don't actually have to go and code anything. You can change stuff right here and it's gonna show up here as well. Uh, it looks like you can change all the various different aspects of the website too. Now, for the purposes of time, we're just gonna go mo and move on. We can add additional sections. Let's see here. Add section to page. Let's see what they have. Oh, there's all kinds of things. So there's about sections, there's big image sections, meet the team sections, you know, welcome and subscribe sections. Oh, it looks like we've got a subscribe newsletter. So we can kind of add a section, maybe right underneath, maybe right here, that's gonna get people to subscribe to our mailing list. That's gonna be good. We'll let this load. 
All right, that looks great. As you can see, it goes right down into that little subscribe section to a mailing list. Looks very good. And then you can add additional pages as well. Let's take a look, see what types of pages we're able to add. Let's add a page. You can add contact page. Oh, contact page looks good. Meet the team. You know, blank page, booking an appointment, online store, all kinds of different things. I'm just going to add a contact page. Uh, let's see here. Let's just do... Let's just use a standard contact us page. And as you can see, I don't have to do any kind of coding, anything like that. It just automatically adds it right to the website. So now people are going to be able to click contact. I don't even have to change around the menu. It automatically adds it to the menu. So now we've got the home page. We've got the contact page. And I think that's, oh, so let's see. All right, publish our website. Click publish. We can do... Okay, so it'll be alrichheck.wixsite.com slash maybe app find. You can also, of course, do your own uh, do your own customized domain. So you can create your own website, hook that up as well. Um, right here in Wix, they make it super easy too. I've done you know all kinds of crazy things in the past, but Wix is going to allow you just to do it just like that, whatever type of .com or whatever domain you want. But we're just going to publish to Wix for now. And once again, this was all up and you know up through here, creating a free website. Look at this; it, it, it's going to look great. Let's take a look. Let's view the site. Wow, that looks great. As you can see, you know the only thing I might change is my logo, but that's you know what I uploaded. Um, it's just kind of make it transparent behind the logo itself. This is AppFind blog. It added in that contact page that we just added. It took a second to add that. And as you can see, it's right here. We go to home. Let's take a look. Oh, as you can see, it's flying in too. It's got the little animation. We scroll down. We've got a little subscribe to our emails. We've got some sample articles. Of course, we can go in and write our own articles. Another subscribe button, another contact us right at the bottom there. It adds in all of the additional information. It looks all set. It's great. Obviously, I can go in and I can add my own posts, add my own updates. Um, and it's just really amazing. So that's how to create a website that looks great on your desktop, looks great on mobile using Wix. So I definitely recommend taking a look using the link right here on the screen or down in the description to create your own Wix website. That way you can have something that looks just like this for your own blog, you know, musician, if you're a musician, um, any kind of website, store, anything you want to create. It looks like you can do a really good job right here. Link, of course, is right here on the screen and in the description. Let me know what you think. Post your own sites in the comments below and I'll take a look as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.